Catalyzer Light is a simple, powerful, and affordable tool for scheduling high variety production in a wide spectrum of job shops. It is a decision support tool that helps with uh, what if analysis, capacity planning, and efficient uh, production management in job shops. It is a decision support tool for salespersons to quote minimal achievable lead times for regular orders and to predict the impact of accepting fresh orders or changing order priorities. It is a complementary to Lean Six Sigma efforts in high variety complex production systems. Job shops deal with many difficult issues like uh, customer imposed order lead times, numerous low volume orders with various process requirements, unpredictable process requirements, quantities and the receiving times of uh, future orders, necessity to make products against uh, received orders, continuously varying product mix and the resulting changes in bottlenecks, simultaneous processing of multiple diverse jobs with the different uh, due dates and uh, priorities using finite resources, obligation or necessity to accept uh, rush orders, obligation or necessity to change order priorities in production, long material procurement times, multifunctional machines, multi-skilled workers, multi-shift production, and multi-resource requirements of operations, significant interruptions in the availability of finite resources. System simplification is highly desirable for making production management easy and efficient, but it may not be viable always. Scatalyze Light is very useful to address this complexity when system simplification cannot be achieved sufficiently for making production management easy and efficient. I am now going to present a very short demo of Scatalyze Light, which uses a finite capacity scheduling logic. This scheduling tool needs uh, two types of data, job data and resource data. Job data contains two parts, basic information and uh, routing information. As shown in this table, the basic information of any job includes uh, priority, penalty, release date, due date, quantity, etc. Release date is basically a time constraint. It is a time until which the job should not start for some reason. Penalty 3 is assigned to jobs which are to be expedited. The lower table of this window shows the routing information for any selected job. For each operation of a job, the routing details include duration, that is the estimated hours, predecessors, the resource requirements, etc. Uh, resources. In the underlying scheduling model, a resource may represent a machine, a worker, a tool, space, etc. The lower table of the contains uh, the list of all resources. The weekly calendars of resources are indexed as 1, 2, 3, so on. Calendar 1, calendar 2, 3, 4, so on. Users can easily create and edit the weekly calendars uh, in this window. Hundreds of calendars can be created if necessary. The top table contains resource groups. A resource group is a set of alternative resources for a task. Resource groups can overlap. Examples are a group of grinding machines, a group of welders, a group of assemblers, etc. The right hand side table shows the mapping between resources and groups. The alternative resources in any group may have different uh, preference levels for selection and they may belong to different uh, shifts. Calendar exceptions. Calendar exceptions like a machine breakdown, worker absence, overtime, etc. can be provided through this window. Shop level exceptions for all resources together can be given through the layer table. An operation may require yeah, multiple resources like a machine and a worker. The resource requirement may be described in terms of either resource groups or specific resource names or a combination of them. Setup time soon. Setup time for a job may depend on the preceding jobs in production sometimes. 
Scatalyzer Lite reads such information from this table and implements it while generating a production schedule. Let us now schedule all jobs by due date uh, from the time selected in this text box. Schedule output is available in both uh, numerical and uh, graphical forms. This table contains job schedule summary which can be sorted in the increasing or decreasing order of any column by clicking on the column header. We can also see the schedule of any job in full details by double clicking on the corresponding row. Resource summary. This table contains resource utilization percentages for the entire scheduling period or any time period selected in these two boxes. Daily resource utilization. This chart shows daily utilization levels for every resource. Each column corresponds to a day. Gray color in any column for any resource represents the resource unavailable time on the corresponding day, while green and yellow colors represent uh, the amounts of busy time and idle time of the resource on that day. Gantt chart. This chart uh, shows uh, job schedules. Yellow segment in any row normally represents waiting time of the job for a bottleneck resource. Waiting time can be controlled by a parameter. Green segment represents a time interval during which at least one operation is scheduled for the job. This full view shows the schedules of all jobs with each thin horizontal line corresponding to one of the jobs. This chart shows the daily schedules in different uh, columns for every resource. This is an alternative view of uh, resource schedules. The user can zoom in or zoom out the view. The gray color represents unavailable time of resources. Yellow color represents resource idle time. And all other colors represent operations assigned to uh, resources over time. We can see the schedule of any resource in tabular form by clicking on the corresponding name. We can also see the schedule of any particular job in full details by double clicking on the row. In addition to the generation of uh, job schedules and uh, resource schedules, Scatalyzer Lite helps production managers with uh, operation synchronization, prediction of work progress, order completion times, and uh, changes in bottlenecks over time. Fixing rational lead times for new orders, finding a right start time for each order, fast and extensive what-if analysis of workflow, handling rush orders and changes in order priorities, overcoming interruptions in resource available team, proactive capacity planning, effective communication of production schedules across the plant. In summary, Scatalyzer Lite is a very powerful and versatile tool for scheduling high variety complex production in a wide spectrum of job shops. It efficiently handles multifunctional machines, multi-skilled workers, multi-shift production, and multi-resource requirements of operations. It offers a major advantage for scheduling project-oriented production like fabrication by implementing any precedence relations among production operations. A major advantage to a majority of job shops from this powerful finite capacity scheduling software is the affordable price.